great ball striking, it comes down to three things. Hitting down on the golf ball, hitting the ball in the center of the face, and having a square club face pointed at your target. How do you do that? Don't worry, I got you covered. I'm gonna show you right now. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cove, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV, and there is nothing, nothing like that feeling that when the club comes in contact with the ball and it goes right through your veins and right up through your body and you know you've hit that perfect shot. It's what we love about the game. So let me show you three things that you can do. So here we go. Let's dive into it. And then at the end I got a nice simple drill that I'm going to share with you. Now if we want to hit down on the golf ball, that's one of the core concepts. Remember, down on the golf ball, hit the ball in the center of the face, and the club face pointed at the target line. Those are the three things that we're striving for. So let's talk about hitting down on the golf ball. Now, here's what you gotta understand, is that when you swing the golf club, specifically your lead arm, that's my left arm, all right? The direction, the direction that we swing the golf club has a huge impact on where the club hits the ground, okay? So, as I'm set in here, I'm just gonna make some practice swings. I got my main man, Nick, back there on the camera. We've also got the front on view. When my lead arm swings more straight back, I tend to hit the ground more kind of right where the ball's at. And the ball's basically in the center of my stance. Now, as I start to swing the club around my body, where do I start hitting the ground? Notice I'm not shifting my weight, I'm doing nothing. I'm just swinging the direction of my arms in a different way. All right, back to straight back. Now I'm gonna go out. Where am I hitting the ground now? out in front, okay? So that's the first thing you gotta understand. I'm gonna show you actually how to get it going in the right direction here in just a second. But understanding that the direction that your lead arm travels has a huge impact on where you hit the ground. And if we wanna hit ball and then ground, we gotta do that. So one of the core concepts of the vertical line swing, i.e. vertical line, all right, is for the lead arm to swing more straight back and up. So let me go ahead and just demonstrate it in slow motion. Here we go. I got a seven iron. I want you to watch the direction that my lead arm travels and I'm gonna give you a drill for it. So here we go. Straight back, more up. All right, I'll take that. Now, it's actually it's a tad thin. I can know you could tell. I know, I know you could tell it's a little thin. You're thinking to yourself, well, that wasn't very solid. Don't worry. That's the first tip. I got two more coming. By the time we get to the third one, you're gonna hit them solid too, all right? All my friends out there, and you know my question. We love hearing where you're from. Be sure to throw that in the comments. It's one of my favorite things. Nick and I, every morning when we catch up, we always talk about where everybody's from. It's just, it's really cool. And do us a favor, ring the bell, like the channel, tell other people about it. Now, what's the drill? Well, here's the drill that you can do. Just simply take your golf club and kind of rest it against your body and just let your lead arm kind of, see that? You would never do this, okay? Just let it swing and feel the freedom that your lead arm is traveling. So do a couple of these. You know we love our three setters. So here we go. There's one, there's two, there's three. Now I got the feeling. I'm gonna get my lead arm going more straight back and up. Oh, we're getting more solid. Nick, all the naysayers, that was more solid. All right, now, second tip has to do with pressure shift. All right, so let me go ahead and demonstrate here. So I'm just gonna swing my arm straight back and straight through, all right? Because we know that's what we want, right? Now, as I start moving my weight, as my weight goes back, where do I start hitting the ground? Behind the golf ball. Okay, back to not moving at all. I'm hitting the center. Now, if I start going forward, where do I start hitting the ground? Forward, all right? So that's the second thing that you're learning, is the pressure movement on the feet has a huge impact on where you hit the ground, right? And that's one of the core concepts of great ball striking. Ball, ground, in the center of the face, square club face. We're gonna to get to those couple. Now, how do we do that? Because hang with me here. Hang with me because I know what you're gonna think. You're gonna say, oh Todd, that's a sway. I'm, I'm gonna give you a drill here at the end that will show you it's not a sway. So what I want you to know, and I want you to do, is I want you to start with a little bit more weight on your lead foot, 60, 40, right? 60 on the lead, 40 on the trail. It's one of the core concepts of the vertical line swing. All right, but then early on, you're gonna shift that weight towards your trail foot and then you're gonna move it towards your lead foot. Okay, so I start 60-40, I move it towards my trail, and then I wanna get it going forward. So on the finish, I want your knees to be touching. On the finish, 
I want your knees to be touching. So here we go, we're gonna tie it together. And I'm gonna get to the number one thing. So I got my 60, I got my 40. I'm gonna reverse that. And my weight's forward, my knees are touching. That moved the bottom of my swing forward. Now, I know you might be thinking, hey, maybe that's a sway. That's okay, hang with me. At the end, I'm gonna show you a little drill that tells you why it's not a sway. Number one, the number one thing you gotta do to have great ball striking is hit the ball in the center of the face and have a square club face. Now, most golfers, this might be you, I want you to ask yourself, maybe even put it in the comments, do you take divots? Do you take divots? If you don't take divots, odds are your club face is wide open or your weight's back. That's why we're watching this video here today. If you hit the ball high and to the right for a right-handed golfer, no distance, just weak shots, pay attention to this tip because this is for you. What we've got to do to get that golf ball in that great contact is we've got to get control over the club face. So when we swing the club back, the club face has a certain look. This is good, this is bad, and when I get to the top, this is good, this is bad. Let me do that again and I'm gonna give you a drill to practice that. Here we go. Bad, good, bad, good. All right, everybody see the difference there? Hopefully you do. Now, how can you practice that? I got you, I got you, all right? So, I'm gonna take a golf tee. I've got my glove on right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this golf tee. I'm gonna put it right in there, kind of right in the gap. And then I'm gonna close the Velcro. So right in the gap and close the Velcro. So you can see all that tee's just, it's just there. See that? I used this drill actually with one of my tour professionals years ago. We used this one, it was a mainstay for us because she had difficulty getting control of the club face. So we did this one a lot. Everybody see how I did that? Now, so here's what you're gonna do. When you're set in there with the tee, you're gonna rotate the tee down towards the golf ball. See how it's pointing towards the golf ball? It's not pointing over there or towards the sky. So towards the golf ball, and then it's going towards the sky versus over there. Everybody see that? So here we go. Golf ball, sky. Let me go ahead and hit a shot. Let me go ahead and hit a shot. So this is, this is tip number one. This is by far the most important. Golf ball, sky. Here we go. Shift my weight. Golf ball, sky. Lead arm back and up. Oh, best one of the day right there. All right, that's how we get control over the club face. All right, now, I've got to share one more drill with you. I promised you this, because you might be thinking the pressure shift deal. We've learned club face control, pressure shifting, everything, and that looks like a sway. It's not a sway. Everybody these days has got a phone. I don't have one on me right now because Nick doesn't let me keep my phone handy when we're shooting video because he wants to keep me on task, all right? But I do have this mic box right here, all right? Everybody see this mic box? For you, this would be your phone. It's in your trail pocket. It's in my right pocket. Everybody see that? So the drill that I want you to do to not sway, not sway, is when you're set in here, I want that phone, the mic box, to work back this way. Everybody see that? I'm taking that phone and the mic box and it's going back and then it's gonna go forward. All right, let me go ahead and do it again. Here we go. Back and forward. All right, let me go ahead and hit a shot. So here we go. I got my lead arm direction. All right, I got club face control. I'm gonna focus on the box. It's gonna go back and then forward, so it's back and then forward. Really solid. That's how we have good solid contact. Hey, if you liked this, you got to check out my next video where I helped one of my students, Jeff. We added 20 yards to his irons by simply making one little adjustment.